this was a great wedding. Um, and something I thought of for this wedding, and then it really got me thinking. I never did this before. And I think it's a good idea. I want to share it with you guys. You could steal it or whatever if you come up with good ideas. And if you think of a good idea for like a common name or whatever, let me know. Let me explain what it is. All right. The, the couple's name for this wedding was Schwartz. Okay. The couple's name was Schwartz. And I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Spaceballs. It's from the 80s. It's a Mel Brooks movie, right? A uh, little before my time for sure, but like, you know, my dad was really into it and he showed me, but, and I think it's, it's one of my favorite movies. I think it's hilarious, right? Well, they do the thing in there called, um, it's instead of um, whatever Star Wars is, I've never even seen Star Wars, but uh, it's like the Schwartz. Because the groom's last name was a Schwartz, I got this sound bite, right? Ready? And may the Schwartz be with you. Right? So I had that queued up on my Serato. And my main goal that night is I wanted to use the soundbite. And I ended up using it a bunch of times. Like I would literally, and it, people were eating it up. It's just a funny, unique kind of thing. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess if your couple's like real uptight or some shit, you know, you might not want to do it. I, I don't know. I just, I think anybody have a sense. It was funny. You know what I mean? It's just cool, you know? And, and especially the context of like everything, like the Schwartz is like the main part of the whole movie. So, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so in between mixes, let's say like, I'm about to just drop something on the one, right? So like I play a song almost to the end or I echo something out and there's like the gap, any type of gap in like a mix I'm doing, I would literally hit it. I had it on the sampler. May the Schwartz be with you! And then do 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 and then like hit the next beat, you know what I mean? And then at the end of the night, I ended with that. So like, well, we ended, like we did the last song, you know, uh, let's hear it one more time for the new Mr. and Mrs. Schwartz, right? And then I, and I said that. And then after I said that, I hit it again. May the Schwartz. And that was like at the end when everyone was wasted and the whole crowd started laughing. It was like, yo, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, I think little things like that, right? Like little like aspects where you kind of, you don't have to do that, obviously. But when you go out of your way and just think of cool little creative things like that to like add, um, you know, I, 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 don't, I think it, I think it makes a big difference. I, I really do. You know, it's like a more of a personal experience for everything. It, it shows that you're not like, just like, you know, going through the motions. You're not just like, you know, it's not a job. It's not a nine to five. You're not clocking in, clocking out. You do the same shit every wedding. You know, obviously you, you're doing different things for every wedding and you're making things unique. And I just think that's important. Uh, another one I thought of, I didn't do, I had a bride who her last name was Cannon and I wanted to use the sound bite from uh, all those little Wayne mixtapes back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember, like, the drought is over and all that. It was like, Canon, Canon, Canon. You guys remember that? Canon, Canon. Like, I was going to have that unlocked, but, like, to me, I was like, damn, it's, like, the bride's last name and not the groom, and I don't want to, you know, it's the... You know, you feel like that you want to like honor the, it's it's the groom's last name. Like you, you don't say it's the you don't use the bride's last name to refer to that wedding. You always say like you know it's the Schwartz wedding because that's the groom's last name, right? So I end up not doing it. But if you guys think of any other ones, let me know. Uh, common last name stuff like that. I was even thinking um, like if I ever have a Jones wedding, you know, I can just do you know me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones, right? Maybe get like an acapella of that. I was just trying to like brainstorm and think of different ideas to kind of incorporate this. But um, but yeah, you know. So sh if you think of anything, share in the comments and all that but definitely uh you know keep, keep your ears open for this sort of thing I, I think it's a great idea you know i don't know if i'm the first one to ever do it but i think it's a pretty solid idea anyway <laughs>